NASA has released a report on what it needs to better identify UFOs. The panel studying UFOs recommending that the agency play a larger role in detecting and studying mysterious airborne objects. Let's take a listen to a press conference underway. The James Webb Space Telescope, which searches for exoplanets with signs of habitability. We are looking for signs of life, past and present. And it's in our DNA to explore and to ask why things are the way they are. In June of last year, NASA commissioned an independent study team to examine unidentified anomalous phenomena. We did so with a few goals in mind. First, to examine how NASA can use our expertise and instruments to study UAP from a scientific perspective. Second, shift the conversation about UAP from sensationalism to science. And to make sure that whatever we find or whatever we recommend to make sure that information is shared transparently around the world. There's a global fascination with UAP. On my travels, one of the first questions I often get is about these sightings. And much of that fascination is due to the unknown nature of it. Think about it. Most UAP sightings result in very limited data. That makes it even more difficult to draw scientific conclusions about the nature of UAP. And so this independent study team brought together some of the world's leading scientists, data, and artificial intelligence experts, aerospace safety specialists, all with a specific charge from me, which is to tell how to apply the full focus of science and data to UAP. And this is the first time that NASA has taken concrete action to seriously look into UAP. Uh, and this independent study team was just that, independent. Now, NASA has a statutory authority to look for life in the universe. And when you think of the universe, and especially what we have learned from the James Webb Space Telescope, how vast that it is. We knew before, and it was a NASA scientist, Dr. John Mather, who got the Nobel uh, that determined that the universe was 13.8 billion years old. And over the years, particularly accelerated in the last century, uh, we have an understanding that, of course, ours is not the only galaxy. And there are billions and billions of galaxies, and each of those galaxies, including our own, have billions and billions of stars. And with the James Webb looking at the exoplanets, we are now beginning to discover, and somewhere out there, we will discover another medium-sized stony planet around a medium-sized sun or star at just the right distance, not too far, not too close, with a tilt in its axis that rotates, that has carbon, that will have a habitable atmosphere. If you ask me, do I believe there's life in a universe that is so vast that it's hard for me to comprehend how big it is? My personal answer is yes. But I asked some of our scientists, 
As a matter of fact, uh, the Washington Post editorial board asked us to come down to the question, what is the mathematical probability that there is life out there in the universe? And if you calculate in billions of stars, in billions of galaxies, that there's replicated what I just said, another stony planet. The answer was, what's the likelihood? At least a trillion. That's from our scientist. So we start this without any preconceived notions, but understanding that we're in a world of discovery. And we have taken, we NASA have taken for the first time concrete action to seriously look into UAP. And this independent study team is exactly that. It's independent. They worked to develop recommendations about how NASA could better examine them from a scientific perspective. And the top takeaway from the study is that there is a lot more to learn. The NASA independent study team did not find any evidence that UAP have an extraterrestrial origin. But we don't know what these UAP are. That's why I'm announcing that NASA has appointed a NASA director of UAP research. They are being tasked with developing and overseeing the implementation of NASA's vision for UAP research. We will use NASA's expertise to work with other agencies to analyze UAP. We will use AI and machine learning to search the skies for anomalies as we have been searching the heavens and will continue to search the heavens for habitability. And NASA will do this transparently. So while today is a significant step for NASA, it's certainly not our final step. And we're going to share more with you, and I want to introduce you to Dr. Nikki Fox, who is the head of our science mission directorate. Nikki.